Well, tonight, the Deja Nu Thrift Store is getting ready for its grand reopening. The store has been closed for about three months now. And the store is one of the Humane Educational Society's largest fundraisers. Every day the store doesn't make a sale, it takes money away from animals in need. Our Tim Pham got a first look at the new store and tells us when the doors will reopen. Deja Nu was just two days away from their grand reopening, but that never happened because of a crash that smashed in the front of their store. You probably wouldn't even think it's the same store. Today, clothes are back on the racks, and this Jeep is no longer parked inside the building. It was surreal, um, especially because we had just closed for a week to get everything reorganized the week before. A driver at the Baskin Robbins across the street crossed six lanes of traffic on Highway 58 in reverse and backed into this store. Police say the driver is okay and the crash was accidental but the store was left in bad shape. There was structural damage and a good portion of the merchandise was destroyed. We had to rebuild our storage room that was in the back. We lost a lot of clothing as well because there were glass shards and, and brick everywhere. Adrian Kuhn is the manager of Deja Nu. The thrift store supports the Humane Educational Society. She says each year they raise about $100,000 to support animals at the shelter. We use that money for care for our animals um, and we use it for any other you know, supplies that we may need for the animals, things like that. And being closed for three months took a big hit to their bottom line. Not having the revenue here at the store has been... Um, Pretty devastating, unfortunately. In some ways, the accident has been a blessing in disguise. Today, the store has a new entrance, carpets, and energy efficient lighting that will save them money in the long run. And the community pitched in to help even when their doors were closed. People that called after the accident happened, they've held on to their items for three months so they can give them to us. <laughs> The thrift store plans to reopen on Tuesday, March 6th. Right now, they need volunteers. If you want to help, just click on this story inside the WRCB app. Reporting in Chattanooga, Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Looks good, doesn't it? But the store isn't open yet for shoppers. Donations, though, are still being accepted. They tell us they need shoes, clothing, furniture, and pants hangers.